don't know enough about lead pollution. I don't know very much about lead pollution. Obviously, as a teacher, I know that if children get lead in their hands, then you want to remove it fairly quickly. Um, so I suppose I've been brought up on the idea that yes, lead is dangerous. It's not a substance we want to absorb into our bodies. Scientists have measured the intelligence of large numbers of children and proved a direct relationship between levels of lead in the blood and intelligence. The more lead you have in your body, the lower your IQ. Children are most susceptible to lead since their brains are still developing. Lead has no place in the body. The smallest quantity is harmful, and yet it's quite possible that half the children in the country are affected by inhaling it. It finds its way via the bloodstream into the brain, where it sticks to enzymes, protein catalysts, which ensure that the brain functions normally. These enzymes work like a template onto which other elements, such as zinc, calcium, and magnesium must fit in order for the brain to work properly. Lead clogs up the template. The other elements can't get through, and the brain's development is impaired. I think parents are quite happy to send their children here, quite unaware that there might be any dangers in the atmosphere. Parents and doctors alike find it hard to spot low levels of lead. The effects are invisible, so it's easy to ignore. Doctors in this country are taught to look at individual cases, and unless they can see a sort of a wrist drop or an absent reflex or something of that nature, they're very reluctant to accept that that child is being significantly affected by an environmental pollutant.